Hi guys, it's Sam and I am going to be doing another get ready with me video. I know I just put one up and that was using lots of new products, very involved, lots of steps and that's great when you have the time to put on a full face of makeup but this is going to be drastically different, this get ready with me. These, what I'm going to show you are products that are my essential go to must use before I leave the house and it's gonna be minimal products and I think actually you could do all these without tools if you wanted to I'm gonna use the tools because I mean you know I have them so why not uh, but really I try to pare it down to the things that I feel like I need to leave the house and of course if there's a fire or an emergency I'm not gonna stop and do this makeup but uh, I just want to share it with you so let's get started uh, moisturize your face I do that that's that's actually if I had to leave the house uh, and I didn't have time for makeup I would still moisturize and put lip balm on uh, so the first thing the first product that I would need is a foundation and I am using the CoverGirl Plus Olay Simply Ages. It's number 230 and I believe that's classic beige. It looks like this as you can tell. I have hit pan. I love this. You can use this with your fingers. You could even use it with the brush that comes in, the, the sponge that comes in here. I'm going to use just a, an angled kabuki brush and I put it into here and I'm just going to this coverage on here I actually would recommend this product if you haven't tried it I feel like it also dries to uh, sort of a powder consistency and I don't need to apply powder which is great and I love this particularly for the fact that it has really good coverage in it and if I wanted to use it as a concealer I could next step is blush and I do feel like blush is really important to make you look awake and give you a more dimensional face and I'm using because I'm trying to use it up not particularly because I like this product it's the Sonia Kashuk uh, blush cream blush in petal and as you can tell I am almost done and I'm so excited I, it this wasn't a bad product but I just don't love cream products anyway I'm actually using this uh, beauty blender dupe I got from eBay not doesn't compare to the original but I like to use this to apply cream blush as you can see I've used it a lot and just go apply that to your cheeks and this step as well as every other step that I'm going to show you you can use whatever products you like you don't have to use these I just um, it just happens to be the ones that I chose except for the foundation you have to try that foundation if you have uh, I guess skin issues that you need to cover up because I have a lot of hyperpigmentation my skin is not the best and that just works so well with or without powder so that is my second step is to add blush next is mascara and that is another step that I feel like makes you look more awake widens your eyes and um, something that I like to do this would probably be the step that I would take out if I really had no time but I'm gonna curl my lashes my eyelashes are pin straight so I feel like this does help me and something that's worth doing uh, this is the Marc Jacobs lift lash lifter gel volume mascara I really like this but I'm, I'm pretty sure it's way out of the price range that I would like to spend on but it is a really nice one and I love the formula it's so it feels luxurious if that makes any sense it just is really creamy and I'm not surprised that it feels nice and then this eye which my eyelashes I I had mentioned that this side is so small the hairs are getting really shorter and I don't know why oops and there I go all the time getting mascara on my eyelids so that's my third step and then the last step would be to use a lip balm slash lip balm tint this is the Burt's Bees cherry lip shimmer I I had mentioned that you know I like to moisturize and put lip balm on and sometimes I forget to do that so I like to use something that's kind of both a lipstick and a lip balm 
This one is, did I say it's in cherry? So as you can see, it has a lot of color, but it's also moisturizing your lips as well. Okay, so here is the finished look. I know it's not anything groundbreaking or extraordinary, but I feel good in this makeup and I feel more confident to leave the house. Let's make it clear. I leave the house on without makeup all the time, but these are just my go-to products that I like to have on before I leave the house. And I would lo love to hear what products you need, whether it be just moisturizer or a lip balm or the full face uh, that you do before you leave the house. And I had just a doctor's appointment. I just want to look a little bit presentable, uh, a little made up, and not like I just rolled out of bed. And I wanted to end this video with just... I saw the movie Spy and I didn't want to see it because I did not like Melissa McCartney. Not, I, okay, not like is not the right term. I didn't care about her. I don't know how much better that is, but I just, she wasn't on my radar or anything. Uh, but after I saw this movie, I was like, I hope they make a part two because it is the, it is one of the funniest movies I've seen in a while. And I was laughing and I really like her and I thought the cast was really cool. Um, yeah, if you haven't seen it, go see it because it is really, really funny and I thoroughly enjoyed myself, so I'm glad that I saw it. It was just, it's spoofing James Bond a little bit, but it's done in a really funny way and I really like her now, so thumbs up Melissa McCartney. Uh, yeah, that's all I wanted to say. I hope you guys are all doing well and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!